If you have been prescribed a positive airway pressure unit, also known as a PAP, you might be wondering, how am I ever gonna get used to wearing this mask and sleeping with it? Even if you have tried out a variety of masks and received instructions from your sleep provider, you might still have some doubts. You're not alone. A lot of new PAP users are uneasy about this process at first. This video will offer you some strategies and techniques to help you get comfortable with your new PAP unit. We call this process desensitization. First of all, PAP is an effective and safe treatment for sleep apnea, and millions of folks use these devices every night to help them sleep. But even though you know that PAP therapy is safe and effective, and a lot of people use them on a regular basis, you still might feel uncomfortable or anxious when you start out using it. These feelings are normal, and a lot of those experienced users started out with those same uneasy feelings. And that's where desensitization can help. The goal of desensitization is to retrain your brain and body to gradually feel more and more comfortable and relaxed while using your PAP device. Over time, that association between PAP and calmness should allow you to easily fall asleep using your PAP without any anxiety or stress. In fact, you might even forget you're wearing it. Step one. Okay, let's get started. Our goal is to first get comfortable using your PAP while awake. Start by just momentarily holding the mask to your face a few times without actually attaching the straps yet. Then practice putting the mask on and off several times using the straps. Step two, wear your mask attached to the device with the airflow on. We recommend you practice during the day while doing something relaxing and enjoyable, such as reading, watching TV, or doing a relaxation exercise. Try not to focus on your breathing. The PAP and you will learn to work together, and it's easier if you're focused on something else. Do this for 20 to 30 minutes per day. We recommend daily practice for at least a week or until you feel very comfortable with this step. Step three. Step three builds upon step two. Continue to wear your mask attached to the PAP device with the airflow turned on. Just extend the time you do this to an hour or two each day. Remember to do something relaxing or enjoyable, like watching TV. You might also try lying down or reclining. If you feel any anxiety or frustration creeping in, you can also use additional relaxation strategies, such as listening to calming sounds or music, guided meditation, muscle relaxation, or soothing imagery. Practice daily for a week or until you feel very comfortable with this step. Step four. For your next step, as you continue to wear your mask for an hour or two each day, while doing something you find relaxing and enjoyable, perhaps lying down or reclining in your favorite chair, let yourself drift off for a daytime nap, your first real PAP sleep experience. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? Continue with step four until you feel comfortable and confident with napping while wearing your mask. If you're trying to avoid naps, however, you can skip step four. Remember, we recommend that you practice these desensitization steps each and every day. That's the best and fastest way to train your brain and body to get comfortable and relaxed with the PAP gear and process. Do it every day and progress through these steps as you feel comfortable. On to step five, using PAP when you sleep. Once you feel comfortable using your PAP during the day, Try falling asleep at bedtime with the mask on and the PAP running. Start every night with your mask on and the airflow running. At first, try to wear it as long as it is comfortable. Try increasing to four or more hours or the entire time you're asleep. 
You might find that you take your mask off during sleep. Don't worry about it. Put it back on when you notice that it's off, or just try again the next night. Try this tip. During the day, you can practice putting your PAP on and taking it off in a dark room or with your eyes closed. That way, you'll be ready to easily put it back on during the night if you wake up with the mask off or if you take it off when you get out of bed. Eventually, you will gradually become more and more comfortable with the mask and the airflow and be able to fall asleep and stay asleep the whole night. The PAP airflow and mask will work with and adjust to your breathing. And before long, you just might find that you wake up regularly in the morning feeling more rested and with your PAP mask on. How long should this process take? There is no right or wrong time frame to this process. The answer depends on how confident you are as you progress through each step. As long as you continue to gradually become more comfortable with the process and the equipment, you are making progress towards better health. If you need more information on getting comfortable with PAP, there is a handout attached to our website called Desensitization Plan that can take you through additional steps. If, after daily practice for several weeks to a month, you continue to struggle with PAP use, please let your sleep clinic or primary care provider know. Many VAs have providers who can offer additional help with this process.